And I think that's what you get. I think the thing is, like you say, when you get into a new job, I know when I started in leadership, um, I wasn't given anything. It was just like, here you go. Here's a team. <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> it, was like, it wasn't like it was a, no plan. So I ended up in... I ended up in the important urgent box all the time. <laughs> Everything yeah. was just rammed into that box. Like, oh, my team needs to help. I'll just do that. I'll go to the meeting, go do that. And, and I remember now, I literally remember it clearly. What, how am I going to do this? Like, I had no tools and I felt rushed off my feet. Um, and I totally, I totally get what you're saying. Like, you know, and I wished actually it would have been like, I wished it would have been a bit more like you said, would have been lovely to have gone, right, here you go. We will slowly put you in the water and we'll gradually give you these tools. And then we'll lead you a bit more responsibility here. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. But this is obviously a different journey that I was on. In that we, scenario, I though, start- Joe. I was, I was in a start. Go on. Go I haven't on, been in similar things, positions myself over the years as well. And I, I don't think it's all just on the scenario. I think it's the individual as well. Because I, I got some coaching early on where I, I was referred to as I was working like a busy fool. So I was literally sweating, running around the office. And I think it's because I put everything in that top left box. Mm. but there's stuff in written. there in my mm. the, in my mentality was there that didn't need to be there and mm-hmm. part of what I got cut and I didn't know this is what they were doing at the time but part of it was what, what doesn't need to be there what does need to be there what's the most effective way of working how do you get stuff into the top right on our model we're talking about and spend mm-hmm. some time over there you know where's your planning where's your firefighting where's the not where's the stuff you don't need to do where's the stuff you can give to someone else and actually I think my and again, it is on the experience thing. My lack of experience put me in that top box, but not just because I was firefighting, because I was firefighting stuff I didn't need to firefight. Um, and actually, by being able to categorise a bit better, and it was again, it wasn't in that model, but you can see how you apply it to it, and then planning out your time, it made me a lot more effective. But again, it's developing. You know, people don't know that, and quite often, you don't understand the need to do it until you're in that pressured situation it's that it's the irony isn't it of kind of having to learn your own mistakes along the way well actually it goes back to what ryan was saying about the unconscious competence model doesn't it because it doesn't come into your consciousness (laughs) until you realize or someone brings it to your attention right you go oh i didn't realize so that's really good and actually i'll just read out from the book actually page 120 or 156 120 edition it's quite old edition so it might be slightly different but it just says this. I love this bit. It just says what it takes to say no. Use the model. It says what it takes to say no. It says the only time, the oh, sorry, the only place to get time for quadrant two, which is the um, important, not urgent box, right? The important stuff. Time to get quadrant two in the beginning is from quadrants three and four. Um, so it's your your not in, not important, not urgent um, stuff, um, and your uh, urgent. Um, uh, not important, not urgent stuff. So those two bottom quadrants, you can't ignore the urgent, important activities, i.e. the do-it-now stuff that we think is do-it-now, but may not be do-it-now, we plan, but usually the stuff that we think is do-it-now. Um, you still have to do those, although that quadrant one, which is the do-it-now stuff, will start to shrink in size as you spend more time with prevention and preparation in quadrant two. But the initial time for quadrant two has to come out of three and four, which is those activities, like we said, right, do I need to be at this meeting? This goes for your life as well. Do I need to go out at this point? Do I need to like watch that Netflix? You know, it could be just like responding to random emails at work. You know, all these types of things. It could be like I'm spending about four hours, you know, I don't know, watching Netflix or playing this computer game. Could I reduce that so I can spend more time on the things that I want to work on? Um, and those are decisions that we have to make in every part of our life, whether we're a, a husband, a partner, a co a worker, a leader, um, you know, any of those activities, you know, a father, uh, you know, whatever. And it actually talks about roles in this section as well, which is really, really great, actually, because we all adopt different roles. We talk about in, in this podcast, so we talk about different roles and what responsibility we've got. So, but this is really, like you say, this book and this sort of matrix can be applied to life. Now, going back to what you were saying, about leaders and stuff every time that i talk to leaders and i had to coach leaders i found i found that when this i've got no time i haven't got time to do this program we did this coaching program and it was like what we did uh uh lee and and again ryan i don't know if you experienced it but i definitely experienced it like i said i was spending a lot of time at urgent important every every time i spoke to this i ain't got time to this it's because a lot of the time they were ramming everything into box one into that first urgent important and so and then when i asked the question is that something you do right now? Do we have to cancel this coaching session right to do that now? Do we have to do it now? 
no, okay, so what can you do now? Oh, I can plan it. So it's almost like a moment where they're saying, yeah, I'm planning that now, rather than it's got to be done now, right? It's like there was that this is moment of realization that actually, oh, okay, I need to take time out to plan these things, to put them in an order. So yeah, it's super, super powerful. But it's the thing I find is that that we don't take time out to plan, to, to actually do this activity. That We just tend to think, oh, we'll just work out or we won't really sit down maybe for half an hour just to sit down and work out what these things are and i've been guilty of that as well as well i've been guilty of that um but i'm starting i'm still guilty to a certain extent but each day at the beginning of each day i'll try and you know plan out my day what's it going to look like um, and i want to make sure those things are feeding into those big big pieces of work that i want this to, to advance right so like you say building those important relationships you know um, recognizing those new opportunities you know planning those things but actually in this box it's actually got recreation so it, what I found a bit difficult, I don't know what you think this guys, but it's got recreation in not urgent and important, but in um, not urgent and not important, it's got pleasant activities. Now, I could get confused between those things. What's recreation and what's a pleasant activity? So recreation is put in here as important or urgent, but pleasant activity is put in as a not important or urgent. So I'm wondering whether pleasant activity means like your Netflix, like I love gaming or do that. And whether recreation means things like my, I'm going to play tennis, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think about it in my own life. And what what will those two things would be? Would it be spending time with my beloved and actually having a bit of time where to together building that relationship about having the same time going out for a meal or something? That's probably still an important, urgent and not urgent task because it's something you're about building a relationship and actually improving the quality of your life, right? So that's what I struggle with about as you look at this model. But I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> 